welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny Walker. Today is a little bit of story time. I got so many requests for more stories about my time in pageantry and I was like, you know what? This could actually be a fun thing. So if you want to hear any other stories about pageantry or have any episode requests, leave those in the comments below. I wanna hear from you. Today's episode is brought to you by Rehearsed to Relatable. This is the place where you can learn how to create a personal brand and really learn how to stand out and create an impact in that interview room. So if you've been struggling with that and you wanna learn more, just click the description below. Obviously social media, has really changed how we see a title holder's year of reign. And we post photos and video clips and stories and reels, but there's so much more to every single post. And so since you guys requested this, I thought it would be fun to talk about five really memorable appearances that I made as Miss Montana USA, because there's so much more to them and how you get those appearances and how they all happened. First, I'm gonna talk about a dream fulfilled. Right after I won Miss Montana USA, I was invited to a Sherry Hill and USO event. And this is something that I had dreamt of doing. I had posted about it. So when I got that invitation to make an appearance in Virginia Beach, I was ecstatic even though it was a little expensive. I had to pay for my own flight to get there, but they covered the hotel. So I said, okay, as long as they're covering the hotel, this is gonna be okay. Now, the really cool thing about this one is that I was able to go on this appearance with my teen sister queen. And that's not something that you always get to do. To make it even better, even more special, my teen grew up in Montana and she had never been to the ocean. So when we went on this appearance, one of the most special things was being able to see her experience the ocean for the first time. It was incredible. And I need to rewind and go back to the beginning of this story because I arrived at the hotel and it was beautiful. It had a balcony that overlooked the ocean and I have never experienced that before. I don't know if I'll ever get to experience that again but it was a beautiful hotel that overlooked the ocean. Let me just say I'm not a morning person. And when I was at this appearance, I woke myself up every single day at sunrise just to watch the sunrise. I would order breakfast to my room, which was toast, eggs, bacon. It was just so good. Fresh squeezed orange juice. And I would watch the sun come up and then I would watch dolphins swimming outside of my window. It was indescribable, so beautiful. So I got to experience that every single day. And then I got to go to a pre-event before we actually volunteered and made our appearance, so to speak. So we had this pre-dinner at the aquarium. The event was wonderful. I got to meet some of my sister queens. I got to meet Miss Wisconsin USA and then also Miss Wyoming USA who attended. I got to meet Kyra McCullough for the first time and I was absolutely shocked because before I even got to introduce myself to her, she spotted me from across the room and she was like, Danny, what's up? And was gonna come over and say hi. She was talking to somebody else at the moment and I was, I was like, oh my gosh. Miss USA knows who I am. Like Kyra knew who we were before we even got to the pageant, like knew us by name. And that was something that just really stuck out to me, really meant so, so, so much to me. The very next day we were able to go to the event and volunteer for it. And what this is, is Sherry Hill donates literally hundreds of thousands of dollars of dresses to these girls that are the family members of our military. So it was really special because the title holders and the volunteers got to be the personal assistants and personal shoppers of each one of these girls to make them feel, feel very special for their special occasions. So the dresses were for military balls, proms, homecomings, all sorts of dances, graduations, just these special events in these young girls' lives. And it was, it was just so touching and so amazing because ladies if you compete at pageants you know that magical feeling of finding your dress and how beautiful and how confident a garment can make you feel so being a part of that process for so many young women was so special but what's really neat about what they do with sherry hill for this event is before the girls get to pick out their dresses there's actually a fashion show so all of us walk in the sherry hill fashion show and then the girls they cheer it's just it's just so much fun it's one of the most beautiful events I've ever been a part of and it was massive and it was just it was just more than I could have imagined and more than I hoped for 
And I really hope that future contestants are going to be able to experience this in the future because it was so beautiful. And there were just so many incredible things about my time spent in Virginia Beach for this event. If it weren't for becoming Miss Montana USA, I never would have went to Fashion Week. And what's so great is that Sherry Hill really created that opportunity for us to go to Fashion Week, to experience that. But because she did that, there were also some other unique opportunities my year. McDougal also held a fashion show and some of my sister queens walked in that show. So that made it even better. I got to see my Miss USA sisters walk during Fashion Week at this incredible venue. It was this big church with stained glass windows. It was so unique of course sherry hill's show was so glamorous and then you're seeing all the models that you see in all the advertisements you're seeing other former title holders you're seeing miss universe and miss usa it's it's just this moment where you're like how how did i get here pinch me how did i get here and coincidentally because of my youtube channel i was contacted by a filipino designer that invited me to his show and he's actually dressed of philippines title holders so it was so unique and i was actually able to get another ticket and i took miss michigan usa one of my best friends liz i took her with me to that show and that was really unique because it wasn't a pageant show so they put us front row and then Getty images were there. They took pictures of us on the runway. We were like, whoa, this is just, it was insane for me. It was a taste of a lifestyle that I had never experienced before. And after that, of course, I wanted to keep going. And it, it's easier. Once you get your foot in the door, you'll meet people. You're able to make connections. You're able to figure out, okay, how do I go to other shows and vlog about it? And it was just such a cool opportunity. And if you guys want to see those episodes, you can check out my New York Fashion Week vlogs. I have those on my vlog playlist. There's so many of those shows. They're really fun. They're adventurous. There's, the, there's, there's ups and there's downs in these vlogs. So, so New York Fashion Week is always fun and I can't wait to go again for this next season. NAM Nationals was a really, really special time for me. So I usually go to NAM Nationals because it's held during Thanksgiving week. And when it was held in Anaheim, it was down the street from my grandparents' house. And I would always celebrate Thanksgiving with them. Now, since they've moved it, I'm not able to go because I still spend Thanksgiving with my family. So I got to go to NAM Nationals and I was telling girls that I would be there. And then it just so happened that that was the same exact week that I was invited to sing for the Grizz in Montana. And if you guys don't know, the Grizz is like the big, it's like the main football team in Montana for college football. We don't have any professional sports in Montana. So it was a huge deal. I was supposed to sing the national anthem for the rivalry Thanksgiving game. But unfortunately, I had already told so many little girls that I was going to be at NAM Nationals. And so I was really sad. I missed out on the opportunity to sing for the Grizz. And I tried to reschedule with the university and they said, no way. That was the only opening that we have, of course, for the biggest game. Of course it was. So I was not able to sing for the football season that year. I couldn't believe it. I was so, so sad, but it was okay because I went to NAM Nationals and that year they were having the party on the plaza. And so I got to go to the party on the plaza and it was very unexpected what happened. Of course, I wore my sash because a lot of girls had asked if I would wear it. And I was excited because there were food trucks and I was gonna be able to get food and dinner. And I thought that I was just gonna go in, meet a couple girls, have dinner, enjoy myself. I never even made it to the food trucks. I was swarmed by so many girls. I spent three hours taking photos, talking to the girls, taking videos with them. If you guys wanna see that, I also have some clips of that on my vlog. I danced with them. It was a blast. It was just this once in a lifetime experience where I actually got to meet so many of the girls that watch my channel. During the year that I was Miss Montana USA, it was just so, so special to me. And so even though I really wanted to go sing for the Grizz, it ended up working out because I felt like I was so loved and so welcomed at NAM Nationals and it was really special. Now the good news though, was that even though I couldn't sing for the Grizz 
football season, I was invited to sing for the Lady Grizz basketball season. So I got to sing the national anthem for them. And the best part is that I get to take one of my best friends, Emily. And Emily and I met at Miss Montana USA. We competed for two years together. So normally on appearances, you don't really get to take friends or family members with you. But Emily and I got to sit courtside at the game and I've never done that before. It was really, really exciting. I had fun singing. I got to meet a lot of kids in the community too. It was just it was just really a highlight for me. The other thing I want to mention is being able to go to Sherry Hill's showroom in Austin to pick out my Miss USA gown and that's not, I mean that was an experience in itself which was so special and so memorable because I got to take my friend Christine with me. She was sort of like my pageant mom essentially. So she went with me to pick out the dress because you're allowed to take somebody with you to your gown appointment. I also got to take Janice from Bridal Elegance who was our evening gown sponsor and because they were paying for the dress. So we had a representative there and Janice was so sweet and so supportive and didn't put me in anything that I felt uncomfortable in or didn't try to make me wear something that I didn't like so that was really great but the real real highlight of going to Sherry Hill for that is they said by the way Fadil is gonna be there and if you are a pageant girl and you know Fadil you know what a big deal is to shoot with him he shoots all the Miss USA's and Miss Universe title holders Right after I chose my Miss USA evening gown, I then went to Sherry Hill's warehouse and you guys can see behind the scenes of this on my vlogs. And I got to see the warehouse, which was massive, and then go to the place where they shoot all of the girls. And there were racks of gowns and shoes and there were makeup artists. And of course, Fadil was there and he was so kind and he was so different to shoot with. I've shot with a lot of different photographers back when I was modeling in LA, but Fadil's style is just so different. He makes you feel so beautiful and so comfortable and he shoots so quickly it's easy for him to get his gorgeous images I absolutely loved it I got to wear the Sherry Hill robe I was there with Miss Texas and then also with Miss Vermont so that was really fun it was just so special guys I want to cry I just felt so I felt so special being there and having that experience and it was one that I never imagined I would get to live and it was just so beautiful. And now my goal is to shoot with Fidel again one day. It was just one of those moments that was more than I could ask for. That's it for story time today. If you want to see more episodes like this, then leave those requests in the comments below. I appreciate you joining me for this one. I hope you had fun. If you have any questions about anything in this episode too, just leave that in the comments below. I'm always, I'm always checking those and trying to, to do my best to respond to them. So thank you so much for watching this episode and I hope that you've chosen to subscribe and you're gonna join me for a lot more.